thrilled that you are joining us today to make a fun little light up paper snowman. So the things you'll need before we get started and you sit down is you need a piece of cardstock paper, a sharpie or a pencil or whatever you want to draw with, and then if you'll be wiring it up with us today, you'll need a battery that's going to power your project. And I like to use these CR2032 batteries. You can find them at a lot of Safeways or grocery stores. And they're a little bit more pricey than you would get on Amazon. You'll need a whole spool of copper tape. Well, not a whole spool, but you'll need some copper tape. Again, this is probably easiest to get online. And then you'll need whatever LEDs you want to light up your snowman with and we're going to be lighting up the snowman's buttons today so I chose blue and I'm going to have three buttons and if you want more buttons that'll be okay we'll look at how you can add more then but you'll want to make sure your battery can power how many ever buttons you're going to do and you can do that by sort of putting them all across your battery at the same time and to check your LEDs have two legs, one long leg and one short leg. So the long leg should touch the top of the battery, that's the side of the battery with the letters, and the bottom leg, or the short leg goes to the bottom of the battery and then it should light up. If you have it flipped around by accident, you'll notice it won't light up. So when you're testing to make sure if you're doing like rainbow LEDs or green LEDs or any sort of LED, you should test that you can get all three of these to light up and you can see they're gonna have some really fun little buttons on that. And then to get your project cut out and stuff, you'll need scissors, of course, and some um, scotch tape in addition to the copper tape. And the scotch tape is nice because it does not conduct electricity, whereas the copper tape does, so it gives you an extra tool. All right, so let's get started drawing our little snowman. I like to have a little tab in the back that folds up to cover up all of our circuit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about sort of where I want my LEDs. So I'm going to draw sort of three little dots and those are going to be my buttons for my snowman that we're going to light up. And then this tab needs to sort of at least cover all that area so it'll cover up my battery will be here, my LEDs. So we're going to try to shoot for the bottom of the snowman you know, a little bit lower than halfway. And I'm actually just going to draw a little dot there to remind myself when we get there. All right. So his dots always go in his second layer of the snowman. So let's start with the head of our snowman. And so I like to do like more like a gumdrop snowman. I think they're just kind of fun and they remind me of Olaf. So I am just going to do a nice little dome as the top of my snowman. And if you want to have your snowman wearing a scarf, we can draw that scarf in now. So I'm going to draw a nice little cozy scarf for my snowman. I'll do like a little C here to make it look like that scarf is coming out. And it'll be slightly curved just to give our snowman sort of that feel of being three-dimensional in the drawing. I'm going to close it off and then I'm going to add in a couple little pieces of his scarf coming out the end. Like that. Alrighty, and now I can draw the second part of the snowman's body. So we'll do two sort of outwardly pieces. And then underneath that third one, we'll connect them together with, again, a sort of a just ever so slight curve. And then we'll do our last one. And remembering that we want to keep above this little dot because that's where we're going to use to fold up. So I'm going to go out even more here. And then we'll have him come in just like that. And then here, I'm actually going to draw a nice big tab. If you draw it too big, no big deal. We'll cut it down later. And this tab is going to go up behind our stuff so that it hides our circuit. And it just looks really nice. I'm going to draw myself a nice big tab here. And we'll get our circuit behind that. Now my snowman needs a little bit of personality. I'm going to do that with the eyes. So I'm going to draw two big circles for the eyes. And inside each circle, I'm going to draw a big circle in the corner. And sort of right below that circle on a diagonal, I'm going to draw a little circle. 
These are the little eye glints that we have. And I'm going to color in the stuff that is not those inside circles. I'm going to get it colored in nice and good. And these eyes, Georgia, who's my five-year-old, loves to make drawings with these eyes. If you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know how much she loves these little eyes. And we'll put in a cute little smile. Now our snowman has a little bit of um, personality. If you want to draw arms, we could draw arms. It might make it a little tricky to cut out, but you could always cut around it. I might make little tiny arms. Maybe that's one of the reasons why we love T-Rex dinosaurs, because they have those little arms. All right, so we have our little project drawn, and now we just need to wire it up. So the first thing we're going to do is we will cut this guy out so that we can start to wire up our project. And this reminds me of some of those days. We live in Washington, so we don't get a lot of days where it snows. But when it does, man, we will make snowmans out of the least amount of snow. We'll make snowmans that are an inch tall if we can. And my girls get so excited about it when it snows outside and we can make a snowman. And sometimes we get snow just for a day. And my kids will roll that snowman up as fast as possible. I'm going to cut just around the arms here. And we'll have a snowman that will last for a few, a few days, maybe even weeks. Last year I think we had one that lasted for quite some time. We had to have the kids on top of their dad's shoulders just to get, they put a potted plant as the hair of the snowman, which I thought was really fun. And as you're cutting this out, sometimes it can be really frustrating. You can use smaller scissors if you need to, or you can always ask somebody for help. These are things that we learn how to do and of course, if you don't practice it, you won't get better, but if you get so frustrated you're about to give up the whole project, you also want to think about that. Alrighty, and the snowman's not too bad to cut out. The Christmas tree template was a little trickier to cut out. Alright, there's my fun little snowman. I am so glad I added those little arms. They're such cuties. All right, so now that we're getting ready to wire it up, we're going to wire it on the back side of our snowman. And if you printed out our downloadable printable, it'll have sort of an outline of this little snowman for you to draw or to color in. And then on the back side, you'll actually have the circuit template. So you would just tape on top of the circuit template for that. But if you don't have that and you want to do it with us today, you can just follow the template that we are going to put on here. All right, and of course, if you want to color it, now is the best time to color it because once you have sort of LEDs and everything in there, it gets a little bit trickier to color in. It gets like really bumpy. So the first thing I'm going to do is right around where I'm going to put these LEDs for my snowman's buttons, I need to make two little holes for each LED to put the two legs through the paper. And sometimes you can just keep the LEDs behind the paper, but I think here that won't give you the effect you're looking for. So you're really going to want to punch the holes. I just use a ballpoint pen, the tip of the ballpoint pen, and I press really hard down and then I pull up on that cardstock drawing and it just nicely goes through. So we can just do two for each LED that we're putting in. If you're putting in more than three LEDs, you can do that. You would just keep adding more pieces, but remember your battery can only power so many LEDs, so you might find out that you put in eight LEDs and none of them will light up because there's not enough power. All right, so we're going to flip this over, and what will happen is the legs of the LEDs will come through here and we'll bend them down along some copper tape. So we can, we're going to want one of them at the angle which will be the long leg, so that when it folds up, it will fold up over the battery. So let's put this piece down of copper tape just like this. And when you use the copper tape, what you want to do, I use my fingernail just to get under between the copper tape and that piece of paper. And once you have it sort of started, 
you don't want to rip it off. This is everybody's tendency. They want to rip it off just like you would with a sticker. They want to peel it all the way off. And then what happens when you peel it is it gets really curly. And this can be kind of tricky to undo. And if you get it undone, the stickiness is kind of gone, so it doesn't stick as good. It's just not as ideal. So what we'll do is we'll lay it down as we go. And let's make sure we've got enough. This looks like plenty of copper tape for us. So I'm going to get it started with my finger. And as I peel this white backing off, I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to lay it down again at a slight angle so that it can fold over the top of that battery when I fold up this long tab we have going on. So we'll put that piece down like that. And that's going to be our long legs because that's going to go to the top of the battery. And then I just need another piece of copper tape that's going to be for my short legs. And that's going to go right here. And we can look at, we're going to put our battery right about here. So let's get this piece of copper tape started. And I don't want these two pieces of copper tape to touch because it will do something called shorting our circuit. And that is the electrons that are inside that battery trying to get out and free and run through our circuit will choose to take the easiest route possible. So going just through the wires is a lot easier than having to climb up little steps of a ladder and go down an LED to light up. So they will choose that easy one every time. And you'll notice actually if I put the battery on here, I would also have a problem because both of these wires are touching through the bottom of the battery. And that would work just as poorly as if they were touching up top. So what I'll do, so I'll actually cover this piece of copper tape because it's gonna fold over to the top of the battery. I'm gonna cover it right there with a piece of scotch tape to put a layer of plastic so now I can put the battery there and it's not touching. In fact, I'm a little bit worried I didn't put enough scotch tape, so I'm gonna actually add another piece on top of that just to make sure that my battery is not touching, the bottom of the battery is not touching this line right here. All right, so we are ready to tape our battery in place. And when we do that, we don't want to take one piece of tape and put it over the top. And the reason for that is if we put it over the top, I've now put a piece of plastic between the battery and this piece of copper tape. But I actually want these two to touch metal to metal because metals are conductors and plastic is not a conductor. So what I'll do is instead I'm going to tape around the edges. And if you have a thick piece of tape, you can even rip that piece of tape in half, make it a little bit thinner. And I'm going to scrunch this little guy up a little bit. Sometimes it's a little tricky if you don't have the template with you. All right, so we're going to put it right there. And I'm going to tape my battery down just around those edges right there. And I'll put it maybe on the side, too. And the battery will also be held in place as this tab folds up, just like this. This is how it's going to hide that circuit on the back end. All right, so we're ready to put our LEDs in now. So when I put my LEDs in, I need to make sure the long leg always comes in onto this side. So I actually might even write a little long on here. And then I'll write short on the other side. And that will help me know which side I have to do. So there's my long leg. And I'm just going to thread it through just like that. And I can even double check it by making sure as it's coming through. Yep, I've got the long leg on the right side. I'm going to do that with all three of them at the same time. So I'm going to get my long leg right here. And I can double check that. Yep, that's the long leg going through. My last one, there's my long leg. I'll put it through the two holes like that. And I can check. Yep, all these guys are the long legs that I want. Now I'm going to make all of my LEDs do what I call the split. So you're just going to take the long leg and the short leg and pull them side to side. So they look like they are doing the side splits. You can do that with each of them. Just like that. 
All right, and you'll notice I actually have all three of these legs now. All three long legs are here touching the long part of my copper tape, which touches the top of the battery when it's folded. And I'll have all three short legs touching the bottom of the battery through that copper tape. So now what I need to do is I need to tape down these LED legs. And again, the legs have to touch the copper tape. So if I put scotch tape here and then it like covers one of these guys, that's not going to work for me. Um, I do like to fold their legs down along the copper tape. I just find sometimes that helps you get just a better connection. With three LEDs going, we're going to want the best connection that we can get. I'm just going to take a moment and bend all these LED legs down so they can run along the copper tape that we have, just like that. And then I would actually like to pick it up and sort of press those guys into the paper really good. And we'll take a couple pieces of scotch tape. You can really just use one piece per side. And we're going to tape the legs down. And just to ensure that they make a really good contact with that copper tape, I'm going to pick it up and press really hard down. It's really important they touch that copper tape or that yeah, the copper tape on the bottom. Otherwise, they won't work for us. And I something as we were making it, they went side to side, and that's okay. We can put those up the way we'd like them. And now we're ready to test, and the way we'll test it is just by closing that, and you'll see all three light up for me at the same time. So this guy is working, and he's ready to go, and we can cover up our circuit. Oops, I cut that a little bit too long. We can cover up our circuit by taping this tab up right here, just like that. Now I have a little thing where if I press it, they're on. And if you want, you can tape down the sides. Or if I have something like a clip, and these will be on our Amazon link too, you can clip around the battery, and that will make your little guy always on. So this is a fun little circuits project that you can do to make a really fun holiday decoration. You can use it on the windows. You could add a little loop and put it on your Christmas tree to light up your Christmas tree. You could use it as a table decoration. There's all sorts of things you can do, and I hope to see lots of pictures of what you guys have chosen to do and the colors that you've made it. I would love to see a rainbow snowman. That would make me so happy. Or maybe one with a really ugly Christmas sweater in there. That'd be pretty great. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun little circuits craft project. And don't forget, we have a bunch of other holiday-inspired circuit crafts that are just as easy to do as this one. And if you need supplies, you can check the Amazon link below, which will take you to a great shopping list to get all of the products we have here. Um, and you'll know you're getting the right ones. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.